Hello and welcome in Project Design IO. In this video, I am gonna explain how to enter the length of the ring final circuit. So it's not obvious. I've got a lot of questions about it. Let's just go through eight ring circuits. So this is ring circuit. I double click on the name and go to the cable tab. What do you need to do when you're selecting a length of the circuit, the design length? This is the full length of the cable from the distribution board all around the ring and back to the board. That's what you need to enter. Let's say from the distribution board to that window of the 25 meters, just simplifying, the ring will be 50 meters. That's what you should enter in here, not the, not the one leg of the ring. You have to, to enter the whole length of the circuit. So sometimes it's quite a long circuit, especially on commercial sites. So let's say 50 meters, for example, in here. You can't use, well, you should not use cables in parallel. That would be incorrect. You don't use that function when you calculate ring circuits. Take that off. That's wrong. Go to your cable, select the whole run from the disk boards, all around the circuits, back to the disk boards, and then the cable sizing, the voltage drop, and the fault current calculations take into account the ring circuit typology. For the fault drop purposes, the loads are assumed to be distributed equally around the ring. And for the ring final circuit, the circuit protected device must have a nominal rating of either 30 amp or 32 amp. Otherwise, it will come out as error. So some rules with the ring circuits in general. So first of all, the ring circuit must be protected by 30 or 32 amp device. The line and neutral conductor must be copper with a minimum size of 2.5 millimeters. Unless this is a mineral insulated cable, then it can be 1.5. The current carrying capacity of the cable must not be less than 20 amp. It must be equal to the nominal rating of the circuit's protected device divided by any relevant factors. So like grouping factor, temperature, and so on. Yeah, so that, that's the rules for ring circuits. I hope you find it helpful. Thank you very much for watching.